another load of hay ready to roll ready to head to new jersey on this beautiful day but you guys checked out the title of this video you know this isn't about delivering hay or loading hay it is about the 520 i said it in a earlier video that the 520 deserves its own video so today i figured i'd make that so before we fire it up check it out i got the doors open up a little bit here is the 520. um i'm gonna do a little backstory and history on the 520. first off here's what it looked like when it came to the farm so anyway um you guys know that i uh have taken video of the farm that my mom grew up on in New Jersey. Uh, my grandfather and great grandfather bought that place when my grandpa was 90, or he was 20 when they got it. He's 92 now, so he's been there for quite a while. Um, the farm that my dad grew up on is, I can't take video of that one because there's really no farm there anymore. Uh, when he was a little guy, my dad was the second one born. He was the only boy and had three sisters. And um, the farm came with the big farmhouse, um, a little house next door, and the main farm. So my grandfather and grandma bought the farm. Uh, he always had Alice Chalmers. He was an AC guy. And um, my grandma's brother had a farm around the corner, down a little ways, and he was a John Deere guy. So they'd get together, and my dad said he remembered as a kid little friendly arguments back and forth. Alice Chalmers is better. No, John Deere is better. Blah, blah, blah. Kind of like we do now with Ford and Case. Or, excuse me, John Deere and Case. But anyway, um, my dad told me a story one time where my grandfather was finishing up milking, and they were standing at the end of the barn, and they were looking at, at the meadow, and uh, their big tractor was an Alice Chalmers D17 and he told my dad that he was gonna buy him a D15 for my dad and the two of them are, would be able to plow the whole farm in a whole week and my dad thought, oh my gosh, a week, that's, that's crazy, that's insane. Um, not too soon after that, uh, my grandfather passed away. My dad was only 13 when my grandfather died. My grandma's brother, who would be my dad's uncle, Uncle Eddie, um, moved out of Jersey and they moved to Western Pennsylvania and farmed there. And um, it came across that um, the 520 that my uh, dad's uncle bought brand new. This was the tractor. Um, this was the tractor that um, my dad would drive. This actually was, as he told it, was the first John Deere he ever laid eyes on. Before, I mean, you didn't have the internet. Um, so you didn't have a whole ton of magazines and everything. So you... Basically, you just kind of saw what was ever in your town or, or whatever. So this was the first one he ever saw. He said before this, he never knew what a John Deere was. So uh, this is what all the cousins and my, and my dad learned to drive on John Deere tractor wise. And uh, it was pretty special that my dad's uncle kept it all these years. And uh, my dad's uncle passed away. God, I don't even know how many years ago it was, but they decided they weren't gonna hang on to the tractor. And um, my dad's cousins didn't want it. And they decided, you know, my dad was interested. So my dad bought it. And uh, like I said, it needed a little restoration. We took it down to my buddy Dusty. Uh, it wasn't running when it got here. And he got it, said it didn't take much, but he got it running, did a beautiful job painting it. And uh, actually, if we come over here, it's pretty cool. We have, the book that came with it is a John Deere 520 gas electric start and also we have this cool state of New Jersey certificate if I could open it up here March 31st 1958 it is a 1957 John Deere 520 and sold to Edward Decker this is a pretty cool document right here so we're keeping that in this envelope and I'm putting it back in the book. But anyway, enough about me uh, yammering on here, yammering on, whatever the term is. Let's fire this up and go for a ride. So I got the battery charger on this right now. So uh, let's try to fire this up and take it out for a spin.
I said, it needs a bath, but it's still a real beautiful tractor. I'm gonna let it warm up for a second, and then we'll pull it outside and drive it around. So we have a hand clutch. You got your throttle here. Uh, you got a brake for each side. You have, let's see if I can get down there and show you. Reverse, first, second, fourth, third, fifth, sixth. So let's go. Oh, you got your brake. Ah, oh, things there. Each side. Let me do this. Was a quick video on the John Deere 520. Um, this tractor means a lot to my family. I'm so glad it's here um, and it's never gonna go anywhere. Uh, hopefully, I talked to my dad, hopefully the field that's up behind the house here, we can hook it onto the roll bar rake and get a video of it raking. I think that'd be really cool. So um, this is uh, one of those tractors that are those family tractors. And I know you guys all got your, uh, got your tractors out there that are your family tractors. So 
Drop me a question, comment below. Comment Mine. below and let me know. What, hang on a second, buddy. Comment below and let me know your guys' family tractors. Uh, you know, a story like this that I had with the 520. I'm sure a lot of you guys have the same kind of story with all different tractors out there. So let me know what you guys, what one is your guys' family tractor that you take out. Um, hit that like button if you like this video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I For those, it. you hit it. You're the man. Uh, thank you very much for all that I have. I truly appreciate it. Thank you very much. I will see you guys later. Have a good day, everybody.